morning. Um, Sarah, my sister, and I were going to do a workout together, and it's the start of a new program week. So I'm gonna do some work on my computer, figure out what we're gonna do today, and we'll work out at like 10:30, in so about an hour or so. So I got some time. Okay, so I think I've created the program for the next three weeks. It's pretty intensive. That's what I want it to be though. I really want to be able to start building muscle because my little noodle arms. <laughs> Just kidding. I really want to build muscle. Um, so now I'm going to start getting ready. But... <laughs> Hello, sir. So I'm just gonna get get ready to get sweaty. <laughs> I wanted to pop on here and say a couple of things. One, I have a septum piercing and I have uh, tacked it up for the chatty videos because I feel like they're a little bit more professional. Vlogs are uh, very me. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it anyways. So maybe I won't keep it. I feel like it looks a little clunky on me. It was fun. For a short period of time, I think pier piercings are just so fun to express yourself with. It's not harming anybody else but you. <laughs> I don't know. And thing number two that I wanted to talk about. Actually, let me get my water bottle. I'm so bad at drinking water. It's atrocious how bad I am at drinking water. Today, we're going to do check-ins on drinking water. So every time I drink water, you drink water. We got this. So again, we're in this together. Cheers. Today is a leg day. My main goal that I'm focusing on is hypertrophy and I really want to gain some muscle and put on some muscular weight. I'm really lucky to have the body that I have and I'm very grateful and I'm very privileged and very thankful that I have the ability to move my body and push my body's limits and grow my body. But it's been a struggle for me to put on muscle weight in a long time and I never really had a healthy food relationship, especially in high school when I was like training all the time. I'm trying to be more really conscious and consistent with the food that I'm eating. All done? Okay. Bye bye. We're working on it. We're it's a it's a work in progress because I'm usually one of those people who I have this big grand goal in mind and if it doesn't happen right away it's like, oh, it's never gonna happen. I'm saying all these things on my chatty videos and on how to create smart goals and how to be consistent and so on, but I'm working on it myself. I'm putting it into practice. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to go work out. Are you back? Hello. Running's a struggle. Yeah. But we're doing it. Yay! Yay. <laughs> to just quickly chat about the programming for what I'm doing. So my goals right now, again, I talked about having specific goals and my one specific goal is to gain muscle mass. Through doing that, I'm looking at hypertrophy training. To make it very oversimplified again, I'm working with rep ranges from six to 12 reps. And then another thing I wanted to mention is that in order for muscles to grow and in order for them to improve in terms of like their recruitment and how fast they're working, and how efficient they are working, um, you have to fatigue them. But I, I'm finding some imbalances between my legs, so my left leg isn't as strong as my right leg. So I would really like to kind of hash that out, smooth that out so it's a little bit more even on both sides. Um, I feel like a common thing that a lot of people don't know 
is the difference between a personal trainer and a kinesiologist or a registered kinesiologist. I'm not technically registered, so I can't call myself a kinesiologist, but I have my undergraduate in kinesiology and fitness and health promotion, and I have my master's in professional kinesiology. I'm putting it into practice, so I'm getting, I'm kind of refining my skills and becoming more of an expert every single day, but the difference between a personal trainer and a kinesiologist is crazy. It's it's a big difference. Something that a lot of people misconstrue is that kinesiologists are like the same or on par with a personal trainer, which I just wholeheartedly disagree with. The biggest thing that I say that for is because of those like CanFit Pro personal training courses. I took that in high school and I was technically a certified personal trainer in high school. I didn't know what I was talking about. Now we have six years of kinesiology training and background. So I I know much more about what I'm talking about now. It's so much more than a personal trainer and it goes so much deeper. It goes into the psychology and like I was talking about last time, the behavior change, it really goes deeper into like motivational interviewing and looking at a person as a whole and really being holistic about your training and your programming and how to get people moving and how to keep them moving and how to keep them healthy. I guess that's the little fun fact for today. <laughs> but yeah, that's my program. Well, I can show you guys more if you guys like these vlogs. I think that'd be fun. Definitely hit the subscribe button, by the way, if you want to see more of this stuff and more of this face, because I'm coming at you more. Now it's time for my protein shake. I think it's shower time. I don't think anybody needs to see any more of this greasy hair. <laughs> is a little bit wet still but that's okay we're chill here today it's a chill day we're hanging out it's cash i wanted to hop on and actually say that i'm trying out a new app it's called dive through and it's from my understanding it's kind of like guided journaling and guided breathing exercises and you can pick it based on certain topics that you want to dive deeper into uh so it's a mental health focused app. Obviously this app is not going to replace a psychologist or a psychotherapist or a counselor or anything like that. It is not a professional, um, but maybe it can help me kind of supplement my mental health and dive deeper in some certain topics. So I found one about food and your relationship with food. So I'm going to give that a try. Unfortunately, I can't film this because I film using my phone and I need my phone for the app. So I will hop off, but I'll come back and give you a bit of a review on how I think it went. I dove through. Lots of writing in. The app has six, 12, and 18 minute uh, guided sessions, I guess you could call it. I did the first day of the dive through called Food and Your Fe Feelings. Excuse me. I have a lot to go through with food and my feelings. So a six minute guided exercise won't do it. I thought it was kind of interesting to go through and to try. And if you wanted to try that out, let me know what you guys think. I've never seen this before. I don't really see people talking about it. I think it was an Instagram ad for me. Water check-in. I'm gonna finish this by the end of this vlog. How about that? That's gonna be a feat for me. This is the excitement of quarantine. Another thing I'm trying to work on in my exercises are my push-ups. I went from knee push-ups to incline push-ups, which is actually so exciting. And I know there's a bit of, I don't know if stigma is the right word, but doing push-ups from your knees versus doing an incline push-up, it's much better to do an incline push-up because a push-up is essentially a moving plank. So your glutes are firing, your quads are firing, your core is braced, and you're pushing from your pecs. A knee push-up you're not using your legs. You're not flexing from your glutes. Your core is braced, but not the same amount that it would be when you're doing a full push-up or a full plank. So it's very, it's almost like a completely different exercise. But the reason that I did knee push-ups was more for my mental grit and to tell myself that I could do it. So it was, it was more of a mental game and a mental 
growth for me in order to be able to kind of level up into an incline push-up which is better anyways i totally understand where people are coming from when they say don't do knee push-ups because they're not the same thing that's i guess the best way to put it they're just they're a different exercise but they're working the same muscles in terms of your pecs and your arms so to each their own but i thought that was interesting for you guys to think about too just doing it you can do it you do whatever works for you don't worry about what other people say that is mostly telling myself that because I gotta get better at that. I think I'm gonna do some reading. Okay, the end. <laughs> drink, drink your water, folks. Tell, tell me to drink my water. Thank you, I appreciate that. Excuse me. Hello. TikTok always gives me giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Even recording. I hate that a lot.